Welcome to my lecture online. Here we have a box, and the box is being acted upon by two forces. A 100 Newton force, which acts at an angle of 60 degrees above the positive x-axis, and a second force, an 80 Newton force, which acts 30 degrees below the positive x-axis. And so we're being asked now what additional minimum force is required to make sure the box is pushed to the right. Now, when we take a look at this, we realize that both vectors, both the A vector and the B vector, will have an X component and a Y component. So let's go ahead and draw that graphically. So this here will be what we call B sub X, the X component of B, and this here will be the Y component of B, B sub Y. And for the A vector, same thing, we'll have an A component. This will be A sub X, I should say an X component for A, and we have a y component for a. Now notice the two x components, the x component of a and the x component of b, are indeed pushing the box in the x direction, so that's perfectly fine. However, the two other components, the sum of those two components, if they're not equal to zero, if the sum of those two components, a sub y and b sub y, is not equal to zero, the box will get pulled at an angle. It will not be in the positive x direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the, next, the net force in the y direction and then add another force to negate that force so that the total force in the y direction will be equal to zero. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll calculate first the two components in the y direction. So a sub y, the magnitude of that, so we don't care about the sign right now, simply the magnitude of a sub y is going to be a times the sine of 60 degrees which is equal to 100 newtons times the sine of 60 degrees and with a calculator well actually we'll need a calculator that will be equal to 86.6 newtons now we have b sub y is equal to b times the sine of 30 degrees which is equal to one half so that's equal to uh, 80 newtons times one half which is equal to 40 newtons. So now we have both components for, uh, both y components for the two vectors. Now let's find the net resultant in the y direction. So the resultant in the y direction is equal to, now we're going to find it as a vector quantity. So we have a sub y pointing in the positive y direction. So that's equal to 86.6 newtons in the j direction and it's positive minus, because the b sub y is pointing downward, minus 40 newtons in the j direction. So the net force in the y direction will be 46.6 newtons in the j direction, and it's a positive direction. So let's take a different color. So we can see that the net force r in the y direction is going to be equal to a positive 46.6 newtons in the j direction. So now we need to apply a force to negate that. So now we need one additional force pushing in the opposite direction. We need a new force. So we need, let's call it uh, the new force, which has to be equal in magnitude but opposite the direction. So therefore, the new or additional force, I'll call it additional force, I don't know, those letters are kind of small. I hope you can read that. Uh, let's go ahead. So the additional force would then be equal to additional force will be equal to the negative of R sub Y. And so therefore, this will be equal to the negative 46.6 Newton in the J direction, which is the force required so that if we apply that force, we will only have an X component left to the right and the box will be pushed into the X direction. And that is how it's done.